So ultimately, those are the raw logs uh, coming in to North South. This sawmill in northwestern Saskatchewan turns logs into lumber, and for decades, it had a dirty habit. A quarter of each tree was simply wasted, burned in what's known as a beehive burner, one of the last in Canada, notorious for spewing pollution. Okay. But not anymore. There is a substantial amount of waste. It used to go to the beehive. I don't know if you can kind of see it there. Yeah. Uh, but now it's all conveyed directly to us. The Meadow Lake Tribal Council is giving us an inside look at its newly constructed bioenergy centre. It turns leftover wood chips, bark and sawdust into heat and power. Pretty amazing, first and foremost, that this whole facility is 100% Indigenous owned. I can show you the, the fire itself in here, Bonnie. The leftover wood is still burned, but in a way that reduces emissions and generates energy. It's heating up thermal oil. 6.6 .6 megawatts of power is then sold to the provincial grid. Enough electricity for roughly 5,000 homes. Getting to this point has taken 14 years and $100 million. All that biomass ends up uh, in a bin. About half of that money came from Ottawa's green infrastructure program. These are very expensive projects to undertake, and so without that assistance, this pro project would not have happened. The pandemic and supply chain issues caused delays and cost overruns. There's also been a steep learning curve. Paul Q monitors everything from wood chips going in to power going out. It's good, it's, it's exciting. Like, see now we got <coughs> alarm, Mitch, thermal oil, low flow, gotta go check. All right, time to time. Some bioenergy facilities are controversial. They cut down trees for the sole purpose of generating power. But not this one. The indigenous owners say they're just finding a way to use every fiber of the trees they've already harvested from their traditional land. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan.